Hey guys, uh, Friday. Today is Friday. I, yeah, I don't know why I'm just boldly announcing days of the week. Um, but uh, this week, um, over the course of two or three days, I swung by on my lunch breaks, um, kind of having, it was like a rainy week. Um, and I was just like, you know, didn't really feel like doing much. Um, so, you know, instead of going and sitting down and eating, I grabbed some fast food and went, walked, uh, two bookstores, I think over the course of three days. So like Monday, then not Tuesday, then Wednesday or something like that. Um, and these are the books that I got. I spent about $43 in total between, uh, half price books and Goodwill. And I uh, wanted to share them with you. I haven't done a book haul in like forever. So uh, here we go. Oh, um, one small thing. I bought a bunch of white primer and this house is about to get painted. So um, might do like some alternative um, videos, maybe like something overlaying me as I talk um, because I'm going to pull all this down, move everything, possibly buy a couple different bookshelves. Um, and kind of make this space a little bit nicer. Um, but, you know, you probably have seen the kids painting on the wall. I was kind of waiting until they were done out of that phase. Um, the youngest is eight now, so um, hopefully that is all over. And we can paint and uh, live like normal people. Because <laughs> um, they were really bad about drawing on the wall. Um, I would assume that we were top ten in families with uh, drawing on the wall. Um, because it was unstoppable at one point. Okay, enough of that sidetrack. Getting into books that I bought. Um, I can't remember exactly which ones were bought where, um, but I do know before I get into the other Ted, uh, so this Ted Decker book can't be the first one because I only got it because of this Ted Decker book. So I'll start with this one. So, which was bought at Half Price Books, obviously, because there's a sticker on it. Pretend I'm not doing this right now. Ted Decker, uh, Black. The first in the Circle series, uh, listened to it on audiobook and loved it. Um, they had had it at Half Price Books for a while, but it was only in hardcover, and I really liked the trade paperback kind of look. Oh, that's cool. He's got the whole Circle series on the back. You can look at it. Um, so I really, really liked um, Black, and I want to get into the next one, which is Red. Um, and I am just super excited for more of this world, more of this series. Um, I'm going to do a review of it now that I have a book to hold up and say, hey, here's the book. I will do a review on this very, very soon. Okay, so I have been looking and, you know, I'm one of those people that I almost never buy books new. So I go through Goodwill and they've got books for like two bucks. Um, you know, you may find a lot of them in the trade paperbacks, but when you find books for two bucks, it's just really hard to buy a book for 20 bucks. And I know it supports the author, and I know I'm probably like the worst about supporting authors with buying their products. Um, so I review their books on YouTube, and I get other people to buy their books. Um, that's the way I justify it in my mind. But, you know, we're at a place financially where we're trying to pay off our house and do some other things. So buying a ton of new books is just not where I want to be. Um, and so finally, took me a little while, but I found all of the other land books uh, by Tad Williams. This is volume two. I had originally found one and three at half price books. And then I found these at Goodwill, I'm pretty sure. Um, so this is all four of the other land books, which I'm really, really excited to get to. I am currently reading, um, oh, here it is right here. The Dragon Bone Chair, book one, um, in his Memory, Sorrow, and Thorn trilogy. And liking it so far, his descriptive prose uh, is right up my alley. Um, liking this quite a bit. So excited to get to Otherland. It's more of sci-fi. That's more fantasy. So love to see the other side of his worlds. Um, okay, back into Ted Decker when I was talking about Black. The Boneman's Daughter. Th this was a $1... Um, I tell you, I don't remember these things, but then I look at the books and I remember where I bought them. This was a $1 clearance book at Half Price Books. They had a little shelf outside, and I was like, ooh, Ted Decker. Um, something I've noticed. I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but his second K is always lowercase. Uh, huh. Maybe that's a stylistic choice that he enjoys, so it doesn't like kind of blend in together with two Ks. And then been trying to pick up the original covers on Harry Potter. Found book six, The Half-Blood Prince. I've read them multiple times, um, trying to get the kids into reading them. I think I have one, two, three, four, and seven. So that's six. I need to get, uh, what is the other one? Uh, Goblet of Fire? No, no, no. I have Goblet of Fire. I need to get, uh, can't think of, this is book five. Order of the Phoenix is the other one. I don't know. I, I have, I'm missing one now. Um, so 
I don't know about you guys, but when I'm going through a used bookstore, I have uh, Evernote on my phone, and I've created lists of books I need to buy, um, like to complete series and stuff like that. So when I'm going to Goodwill, and I, like Codex Alera is like the big one for me. Like I want to pick them all up so I can read them, and I have one, three, and five. And so by knowing that I have one, three, and five, if I ever see two or four, I can grab them. That's kind of Harry Potter's in that that vein. And I just finally picked up the last one in. The Lemony Snicket books. I wanted the hard covers with the uh, like funky edges, pages. There's a word for that, but I don't care. Um, and so I forgot to mark this one off. So I double bought book five. Found it for sale at half price books for four ninety nine. So I will probably sell this or do something with it, re, re gift it to a child that I know. Um, but the last one was book eight, a hostel, the hostel hospital. Ho yeah, I said that right. Yeah. Book eight. So I now have all of the Lemony Sticket books. And so I can continue to read that series. Um, the I had this book on Kindle. This is the first Lost Fleet series, the six book series. I had all the other ones physically except for this one. And I've got the first two physically in the next series. So I'm about to start buying them again on Kindle until I can find them physically. Because um, Kindle's cheap. Um, Neil Stevenson is an author that I actually have two of his books as well. I have Snow Crash and um, Anathem, um, and so the Cryptomicon. I've heard nothing but good things about his books, but I haven't read a. F I haven't read them. I haven't read a single one. And this book is ginormous. But um, if I like him, I'll enjoy it. And I know I got it at Goodwill, so it was less than $2. So not worried. If I don't like it, I can give it to someone else. Um, Ken Follett, I've liked his books. You, I've got a couple reviews. This is a series that I've never read. Um, this is book two of the Century Trilogy. I have book one. I have book one. Um, so I was planning on reading this last month, never made it on my TBR, and uh, didn't make it on my TBR this month. But the library has actually sent me the audiobook for it. And I keep not reading it because I put too much on my TBR. So, but I have book one and book two physically now, so we'll read those soon. Maybe. Probably not. This year, maybe. All right, next. This is a Tad Williams series, but it was there. It was at Goodwill. It was with the other the other two. Um, Shadow March. It is the first of a new series. I mean, he does not write small books, does he? I mean, like, this is like the smallest one that I have of his. Like the whole Otherland series is ginormous. Like they're all this big. Like these are some big books. Hefty boys. Um, what are we looking like, Page? Uh, around 700 pages a piece. So he does not write short books. But if I like them, I'm going to be really, really excited to um, become a Tad Williams fan. Because um, I know a lot of people are. So Shadow March. I looked it up on Goodreads when I, when I bought it. Um, Joe Hill, I've never read anything of his. I know he's Stephen King's son, um, and wow, he looks a lot like Stephen King, actually. Um, I have Nosferatu as well. Um, next is one that I've wanted to get to. Um, a lot of my friends have really enjoyed Flannery O'Connor, and I am excited. A Good Man is Hard to Find um, in other stories, so I am going to see what everybody else enjoys. Um, and then this is a book that I listen to on Audible, and um, Consider Phoebus is... Interesting. I gave it like three stars, but I bought it because I heard the rest of the culture series is really, really good, and I'll probably collect the whole series. And it was in trade paperback. Um, it was eight dollars though. I probably shouldn't have bought it, but I'm weird. This book, Seven Blades in Black by Sam Sykes. I know I put on my TBR a long time ago, and I remember this vibrant, vibrant cover. I don't know why I like. It's kind of. I feel like it was like the right as I got on BookTube. And I don't remember what it's about, but it was at Half Price Books in trade paperback, which is my favorite format. Peter V. Brett liked it. Robin Hobb liked it. Pierce Brown liked it. They all blurbed it. Um, and it looks cool. Nicholas Eames blurbed it. David Danglish, R.F. Kwong, Mike Cole. Yeah, so a lot of people read it. And last but not least, this is the hard sci-fi renaissance. This is short stories from Poole Anderson, Stephen Baxter, David Brin, Ted Chang, Arthur C. Clarke, Greg Egan, Joe Halderman, Nancy Reese, Alistair Reynolds, Kim Stanley Robinson, Bruce Steerling, 
uh, Werner Vinge, and more. Um, it's huge. Bunch, a bunch of short stories. I mean, this thing's huge. I'm really, really excited to um, to read this. And being short stories, they're a little bit easier to get into. I mean, this first story is from page 19 to 24, so five pages. You know, so probably a bunch of really cool little short stories um, in the sci-fi world. And I am excited to read them. Well, guys, that's all I got. And uh, talk to you soon. Please subscribe to the channel. Click the buttons and all the fancy stuff that we do. Uh, join the Discord. A lot of conversations go on there. Um, any of the Discord links, it's the same Discord. There's just different subcategories of them. And I um, would love to have you there, talk to you, um, see all the cool things that you think about. Um, I, I share a lot of fan art. Um, I'd love to see you, fan art that you may have come across. Um, I couple funny memes as long as we keep them appropriate um you know stuff like that i just a lot of fun there and um really enjoy talking to everybody that has joined the discord and um if you're a booktuber you can put your videos down below and i would every video in the uh discord i watch so if you want me to watch your video and it's in my discord i guarantee you i'm gonna watch it so that's all i got see you bye